Hey Run Junkies, welcome back to Training Tuesday. Today's kind of special because I just ordered something that I've been looking forward to getting for a long time. So one of the pieces of equipment that is kind of important for you if you are training consistently and wanting to see progress is some kind of GPS watch, timing device, and all of the data that you are compiling. Now, it's all up to you about how much data you want to gather. What I have been using in my training journey is the Garmin Forerunner 310 XT. I've really liked having it. It gives me all kinds of data and it's also a multi-sport watch so it's great for triathlon as well. One of the things that I've tried to do over the course of the years I've been training is really get into heart rate training. One thing I have found with heart rate training is that you need a chest strap like this one. It goes around your rib cage. These are the contact points and this is the transmitter to the watch. I have always struggled with getting accurate data because of the chest strap. It tends to slip. It doesn't stay in place. Um, I've had to get smaller chest straps as a result and even then uh, I'm not quite getting as accurate data. So I've looked for a lot of different ways to actually get the data. While my 310 XT is actually doing very, very well, I do want something that has a heart rate monitor in the wrist. Let's open the box. I rated my son's desk for the safety scissors because, you know, safety first. Here it is, it's so exciting. <gasps> Look, there's paper. The Forerunner 235. I'm actually really excited about this. Stay on pace for your next personal record with two Forerunner 235, the wrist-based heart rate GPS running watch with smart features like notifications from your smartphone. Wow, that's like technology. Also tracks your daily steps, distance, calories, and sleep, plus your heart rate at the wrist. This actually looks a lot like a lifestyle watch as opposed to uh, what I consider a sport watch with the 310 XT. Oh, and see, here's the cool thing. I just realized something. This data right here, I've actually seen online uh, in a lot of my groups. So this is, these are the screenshots I'll see. So I'm actually not pretty excited about that. I can't open it. Woo! This is a really, really nice watch. Okay. This is it right here. Um, the, the wristband is very lightweight. It looks like the heart rate monitor is back here. So this piece right in the middle, which means it's going to sit right over your wrist where you're gonna have the most contact anyway. So I'm hoping with this watch that it will actually give me good data. I have to figure out how to use it, learn all the buttons. So I'm very excited about this watch. Um, I'm going to charge it up and I'm going to see how it works. So hopefully coming up, I will have a chance to review this product. One of the reasons why I bought this watch was because I'm going to be doing a lot of heart rate training coming up. I will say that in the reviews I've seen, the Garmin 235 is not as accurate because of where the heart rate monitor sits. It's not over your heart. It's over uh, a pulse point. The reviews for the Garmin 235 have said typically that it doesn't provide accurate data. I mean, I'm not getting accurate data anyway. I know this will stay in place better than a chest strap has. What I do love is that I have one watch and as long as it's charged, it's set. The Garmin Forerunner 235 does retail at $330. It's not a cheap piece of equipment. However, Garmin is one of those companies that's going to stand by their product and I can tell you from personal experience that my Garmin 310 XT has lasted me for literally years. I honestly don't remember when I bought it, so I'm glad that it's actually lasted this long. I will still use it as my multi-sport workhorse. This is just going to be specifically for running. If you want to know more information about the Garmin 235, please check out the link below. It's going to have all of this information plus so much more. So here's my question for you this week. Have you used the Garmin Forerunner 235? If so, let me know what you think in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. So I hope you enjoyed this little unboxing. I had a lot of fun bringing it to you. And and thank you so much for watching. If you liked this video, please give me a thumbs up. Also, subscribe for a lot more great things. Thank you everybody for watching. Get out there, go find your awesome. I'll see you next time. And in the meantime, happy running.